Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and today I'm going to show you two easy ways to incorporate the new 2021 road plates with your modular buildings. This is how we're going to do it at least. I've seen some other methods out there already, but I love our method. It's a lot easier, I think. So I'm very excited about that. So just like a little history lesson, Lego used these road plates for the longest time and to be honest, I never really liked them. Like they don't look very good. They just look kind of cheap. Like if you're really into Lego city building, these don't look very good. And there's other methods to get around using them. Some issues with them are that they're not really too customizable and they just don't look very good. So when the 2021 road plates were announced, I was so happy, I was so excited to use them, just see how they would work in my Lego city, especially since they look a lot more versatile and I mean, they just look a lot better than this. So I was just really excited to kind of see like how it would work, what it would be like, because I know that there were some issues addressed before they were even released. The main issue people were talking about is the height. So these road plates that were used up until now, and I guess still are, they're not like discontinued. These are just a base plate, which is definitely a different height than this. This is a lot thicker. It is a plate plus a tile. So this thing is a lot thicker. And the issue with that is that with the modulars, it's a base plate plus a tile. So it's just a lot thinner. And when you lay them next to each other, it just doesn't line up like it's the road is higher than the modular which like doesn't make any sense like when is the road higher than the buildings and the sidewalk and all that so it just doesn't make sense and i want my lego city to make sense i know it's just lego and it's like a fake little city but I mean, it has to make sense, right? So I know I'm not the first person to bring this up to the community. I know Brickinet made a great video with some different suggestions on just how to deal with this because he does the same thing. He's a Lego city builder, he had modulars and all that. And so his recommendation was a little bit harder to do than mine is, I think, which is why I wanted to just brainstorm a little bit more and see what I could come up with. His method involved taking the modulars off of the base plates and like retiling it. And I just didn't really wanna do that. It just sounded like a lot of work and I just, didn't feel like taking that much time to do that, honestly. So instead, I came up with two different methods on how to deal with it. And the first one is like kind of stupid easy. <laughs> like I'm a little bit embarrassed about it, but like I think it works. So here's what I'm planning on doing. Step one, take your old road plate and throw it away. My leg! You don't need that anymore. And now place your new road plate onto a base plate. Next, carefully move the modular out of the way and to take a handful of tiles, any color, any size works, and place them alongside the road plate as well as further back. And now throw your modular back on top of the tiles. As you can see, I was able to place a brick on the road plate part as well as the modular and it fits perfectly, nothing comes apart, it's the same level. Essentially, if you're okay with having your sidewalk flush with your road plate system, then you're done. This is an easy solution. However, if you're not quite happy with this and you want your modular to be above your road plate, then we're gonna have to stack some more. So as you can see here, we took a bunch of plates and layered some tiles on top. So now these are a plate plus one tile thick. And what we're gonna do is replace the tiles underneath with this. And to prove that this works, we're gonna take this brick plus plate and place it down here. So here's our current city setup with all of our plates using that method that I just showed you guys. It's looking pretty janky, you know, like, I mean, it, it doesn't need to look good because it's gonna get covered up, but just so you guys kind of see how we're doing it. So we definitely have some more work to do on our Lego city, but these road plates look slick. I cannot wait to get some more and just expand it down a little bit further. But really, I am super happy with these. I was a little bit nervous about using them at first, but man, like we're definitely gonna get more. It just looks so good down here, so. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. I would super appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.